Hello everyone, welcome back to Ingenious Creations. Today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to make your own Hershey bar clutch. Um, it, this one is pretty easy to do. Today, I'm not gonna be using no computer and no printer. Usually, a lot of my members in my group always tell me they don't have a printer or they don't have no fancy cutting machines or a computer. So this tutorial is gonna be pretty easy. All you need is some cardstock. Your, um, I use a scoreboard and a paper trimmer and that's basically it and all the embellishments you want to add and of course your Hershey bar so this is how it's going to look and again you can customize for any events that you are doing um, just go get some car stock from any uh, craft stores and that's all so let's get this story started okay so the supplies that you're going to need is glue and this is art glitter glue you can find this on amazon and i always post down below my amazon link um and i usually have all the supplies that i use so you can use glue i use um this glue for all my paper crafts you can also use double-sided tape i love this brand the 3m brand it's also on my amazon link you can get any size you would like but this is a permanent adhesive double-sided tape and i really love this tape Any type of bling you would like to add for your straps. I got this from AliExpress a long time ago. It's all pearl, um, a pearl strip. Or you can go to your local craft store, Amazon. I mean, sorry. <laughs> your local craft store, uh, Michaels, Joanne's, Hobby Lobby. And get this. This is in the jewelry aisle, a chain. You can get this. They have it this color. They have it in gold. They have it in chrome. Anything you would like. You can even use ribbon for your straps. Just be creative, guys. Um, of course, a pair of scissors. Um, your Hershey bar. Don't mind my Hershey bar. I'm using this same bar for all the tutorials that are coming. Um, I am using my paper trimmer. It's from the brand We Are Memory Keepers. And it's a scoreboard and a paper trimmer. It is also on my Amazon link, but you can buy this at your local craft store and of course use a coupon. Um, any other bling you would like for the front of your clutch. And I usually just get these at AliExpress, eBay, Amazon, Etsy, wherever you want. Just even on your local craft stores, they have a whole bunch of bling. I am going to use 8 by 11 cardstock. Uh, this is 65 pounds. You can use, don't use nothing less than 65 pounds. So if you have 80, 100, that is perfect. But this is 65 pound cardstock. Any color, depending on the theme that you're doing. And usually when you go to Michael's and um, Joann's and stuff like that, they usually have. Uh, paper pads 12 by 12 so you're gonna need decorative 12 by 12 cardstock just there's a whole bunch you can pick through so you're gonna need some 8 by 11 to build your clutch and then you're gonna need decorative decorative 12 by 12 to design your clutch I have a whole bunch but I'm just showing you some so go ahead. Usually Michaels be having the $5 um, buys. So usually I grab a whole bunch around that sale. And that's basically it. If I'm missing anything, I will definitely let you know while we're working on the clutch. So let's get started on the tutorial, guys. Okay. So I'm going to try to go as slow as I can so you don't get confusing with the measurements. So um, your uh, paper trimmer does come with a scoring tool. So the first thing I'm going to do is, uh, this is the 8.5 by 11 cardstock. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this cardstock to six and a half. And then I'm going to turn it and I'm going to cut it at seven and three fourths. Again, that was six and a half by seven and three fourths. Now, I am going to turn it to the side that is six and a half right here. Make sure 
you have it on the six and a half, and you're going to score at three eighths, and then on the other side again three eighths. This is the side again of the six and a half, and it's scored at both sides at three eighths. Now I'm gonna turn it to the side of the seven and three fourths, and you are going to score at two and a half, two and seven eighths, five and three eighths, and five and three fourths. Again, that was at two and a half, two and seven eighths, five and three eighths, and five and three fourths. And that's how it's going to look. So your sheet of eight by 11, hopefully I can see that. Let me stand up. This is how it's going to look. And now we have to fold all your score marks. folded you're going to notice the bottom um, rectangle is bigger than the top one if you holding it like this so this one's bigger than that one meaning the bottom one and the middle one are the same size and the smaller one that's going to be the flap to close your clutch now if you notice carefully we have all these squares on the side all these rectangles so the top rectangle is your um, closure for your clutch if you notice, we have one, two, three, four, and five extra rectangles on the side. The first two squares on the top, we need to cut off. So this one and that one, that one and that one, we need to cut out. Do not cut the bottom three. Those little um, rectangles on the side, those three we have to leave. The first two we need to cut. So only cut those two. Now, you see there's a small rectangle right here. We need to just take it apart. So we're going to cut right here and cut right here and cut right here and there so we can have three separate uh, rectangles. And what I like to do is I would like to cut a little piece off so it can have room when we glue. So just a little piece you cut off. You can also cut a little piece of the bottom one. So this is the bottom. Cut a little piece of the bottom, just the corners. Make it like an angle. So it's going to look like this. I'm not going to assemble the clutch yet because we still need to cut out the decorative um, cardstock and we're going to put it on before we assemble it. So let's get started to cut the decorative um, cardstock first. I am going to use this one just for tutorial purposes. Um, and the first thing you need to do is you need to cut out one piece of one and seven eighths so 
So one seven eighths by five and five eighths. Again, it is one and seven eighths by five and five eighths. So this is the first piece. Then you're going to need two pieces of two and three eighths. Two and three eighths by five and five eighths. Again, that was two and three eighths by five and five eighths. So you're gonna need two of those pieces. And then you're gonna need two one fourth, I mean, two pieces of one fourth by five eighths. So one fourth by five and five eighths. Okay, now once you have all your pieces, we just need to glue them. So the smallest rectangle that we cut, which is the one and seven eighths by five and five eighths, that one's gonna go here on the top. So you need to lay your paper like this, the tabs in the bottom, this is your top. So you need to lay um, the first smaller rectangle on the top. to assemble it all you have to do is turn it like this these two little um, tiny flaps they're gonna get glued in the bottom one so you will just have to flip this up like this and glue that tab in the bottom one the little one gets glued in the bottom one Then this flap gets glued on top of that one.
strips here. They will just be two and three eighths by one fourth. If you wanna add them there too. So now all you have to do is, you need to cut a round shape or any shape you want the front of your clutch to look like. I'm just gonna do a basic round corner. You can use your scissors. I'm gonna use my scissors for this one. Or you can use a corner punch. These, this um, one is for the We Are Memory brand. And you can get it at your local um, craft store as well. Now, after you have all this done, you need to glue your um, strap, whatever strap you want. I'm going to use hot glue and I'm going to glue the pearl one. And right here, you will glue it in the inside right here where we have that middle, um, that middle square right here. So you will glue a little bit here and then the other part there. I also forgot to tell you guys, you do need a Velcro dot. So you can go to Walmart and go to the sewing aisle. That's where I get mine is the sewing aisle. And you get small Velcro dots. They are adhesive, but I still will add a little bit of hot glue to it. some hot glue. If you would like to keep adding more stuff, it's all up to you. But basically, this will be done just like this. Really simple. 
All you have to do is add your Hershey bars inside. Don't mind this one, it's all jacked up because I keep using it for all the tutorials. But here are your wallets. Again, guys, thank you so much for all your support. If you would like to continue watching more of my videos, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to hit the like button and comment down below any questions you will have for me. Um, there will be a lot more tutorials coming for you guys. If you would like to uh, show me everything you have learned from me, please join my Facebook group. It's called Andrina's Creations Crafting Lounge. And again, guys, thank you, thank you so much. And I will see you on my next tutorial. Bye-bye.